And the third aspect is going to be the space around equipment, around making sure that we have the requisite tools for the delivery of the job and the mandate for which the services have been uh, assigned. And this will include um, uh, capabilities around transportation, capabilities around communication, capabilities that will speak to um, digitization of uh, um, the services that we are engaged in. And my very clear instructions is, as we digitize government services, we must onboard the digitization of police services, national youth service, and also our prison service. The legendary OB must be in digital form so that it is known if a Kenyan has been booked for whatever reason, it must be documented in a manner that cannot be tampered with. And I know there has been a process of digitizing our, our OB and the whole front, um, uh, the, the, the citizen facing uh, front of uh, our National Police Service. That is an exercise that I would want to see completed in the shortest time possible so that it, we can have much more predictability. I would also want to see the payment of fines digitized, instant fines, and all the other things that uh, um, uh, occur around payments. We, we must stop the culture of dealing in cash. We are moving, we've moved away, and shortly we will have a cashless government that does not engage in the business of cash. I know there is a lot of resistance in some quarters, but we will make sure that this whole space has been, we've leveraged on technology to make sure that we can drive the reform and efficiency in this sector to ensure that we have better outcomes in the management of our security.